Hi everyone, this video is for English 104. I'm going to share my screen so we can take a look at our Moodle page. We are in module nine, and this week it is all about the annotated bibliography. There's only one assignment this week, um, but it's a doozy. <laughs> it's our discussion forum. And when you click into this forum, basically your post is going to be a draft of your annotated bibliography. And then your reply will be that you have to review two other classmates' postings. In other words, you're reviewing their draft of the annotated bibliography and giving them feedback. So the first thing I wanna point out right away is there's a little bit of a change in due date. I did this deliberately to give you extra time. So your post, and replies will be due by Sunday at midnight. So the problem with that is you don't really want to wait until Sunday to not only post, but then go in and do your replies. Um, you won't do a good review. But um, let's just start with the posting. The posting is going to be a draft of your annotated bibliography. And so it, you can take a look here. Don't forget, you want to go into this document because there's a bunch of reminders here that will kind of tell you what do you got to have in your annotated bibliography. So let me pull this up for you. And the details, these are all the things that you should be looking at within your annotated bibliography as well as a sample. So the annotated bibliography will be listing all the sources you use in your essay. You don't have to have every single source. However, you will have to have a minimum of six on, on this draft. So a minimum of six credible sources and three of those six need to be from our SMC library database, not other databases. Three of your six sources on your annotated bibliography need to be from our SMC library databases, whether it be ProQuest, uh, Gale in Context, whatever. Of those three that you get from the databases, two of them need to be scholarly and or peer reviewed. So I wanna go over this just a, one more time. I'm gonna, I'm gonna highlight this. So on your annotated bibliography, you need six credible sources. So you're gonna have to have six listings. And then of those six, three must be from our SMC library databases. And two of those three have to be scholarly and peer reviewed. So make sure you have that within those six and you meet that criteria on your draft, okay? So the other items are you know, your choice and they can be secondary uh, things like books, websites, um, DVDs, you are allowed only one personal interview and it must be with a credible person. That means they got to have some kind of credential in the field of your topic. So you only get one interview. You do not have to have an interview. Uh, it's you are allowed one, but you don't get more than one. So choose wisely if you're going to do an interview. So here are the other requirements. I don't want to read this through to you because of course you can all read, but make sure it's alphabetized, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, key things you should be paying attention here on how big should your summaries of the articles be. Um, and then this is key in it. You have to address how you're going to use this source in your paper. And you do want to be specific. Don't just say, yeah, I'm going to use it to help build my paper or something like that. And then of course, um, other items here, make sure you have, you are addressing all of these in the annotated bibliography. So I also give you a sample. This is what one entry will look like right here. So you always start with the citation. So the citation starts and make sure you're doing MLA properly, properly uh, MLA 8 uh, citation edition. And then of course, the remainder of the criteria. This is your summary, as well as how you plan to use it within the paper, how it may you know, affect the audience, that kind of a thing. So this is just a really good sample of a write-up. So do note, this is not a short write-up. This is a very um, thorough 
summary and how you're going to be using this particular source or information from a source within your essay. So um, that is the item for the annotated bibliography. Okay. Uh, let me get out of this document and I don't need to save it. I want to get show you. Okay, so now for your reply. Uh, after you've done your annotated bibliography draft, upload it. And by the way, uh, double check those, you know, MLA citations because in the, the reply, what you're going to do, let me just quick move this. You have an annotated bibliography form review that you're going to use. You're going to use this form. So download it just like I did. It's an interactive document. And you are going to use this to review other classmates um, annotated bib. So it tells you here you're going to read a classmate's annotated bib and you must go through and answer all of these questions. If you say no, address it, give comment back, guidance, and help them fix it. So uh, formatting here, the items you're looking for, elements of citations in particular, this is why I say when you upload your draft, make sure your citations are done correctly. Here's the other thing, when you are giving feedback, it does not do anybody favors if you say, oh yeah, yeah, that was fine. And it's not <laughs> if there was a mistake. So this is your chance to help. The other part of this is feel free to take your draft and do writing consultation with it on just MLA. And you don't even have to have a full hour appointment for that. Um, they do drop in, they use Discord, uh, which is kind of like a drop in chat feature. And, um, you know, give them a call or, you know, if you don't know how to use that, or yes, of course, you can make an appointment online. But um, that's the other reason I gave you extra time this week. So if you want to get those consultations to make sure your citations are in order, and also so that you can help others. And of course, use the resources that we have provided for you, uh, Purdue OWL and others within our Moodle page, okay? So this is what you are responding to in writing. So you type up and, uh, and then you are going to upload this as feedback on the forum to whoever's you review. And remember, you have to do that for two people. So um, let me stop sharing here a minute. Sorry, I have to find all of my, my fun buttons. Um, that's it for this week. Um, it, it is a big one. It's, however, oh, a couple of other things for the annotated bib I wanna remind you of. The annotated bib, you may use items that you have already uh, done on the worksheets. So for example, you had to do a worksheet on databases and you wanna use those two sources on your annotated bib for this. Yeah, absolutely, go ahead. The two websites, absolutely, you may use them as long as they were appropriate for the assignment. And I didn't kick it back and say, no, you can't use that. So between the web worksheet and the database worksheet, you should be able to, to crank out four on your annotated bib right away. So that leaves you with two others. Now, just keep in mind, you know, the, the six you have, three have to be databases. So therefore you're gonna need at least one more database. And then of those three databases, you gotta have two of them to be scholarly. So if you don't know how to do scholarly or figure out if it's peer reviewed, um, most of the databases have that little graduation cap icon. Um, otherwise, you know, feel free to make an appointment with me and I'll, I'll help you through to figure out if it's scholarly or not. Um, so anyway, so you should, if you've been keeping up with your work, have four sources ready to roll on your annotated bib. Now it's a matter of really doing a good job reading, summarizing, how are you using them in your essay, all those kinds of things. Um, okay, so let's see if you watched my uh, video here at the end. Here's my, my surprise or my gift, my gift to you. If you have a zero in the grade book, I am going to allow you to submit that item with no late penalty, um, if you email me and say, I have uploaded this assignment, 
and you have to tell me the date you uploaded it and you have to email me the same day you upload that completed assignment. So what I'll do is I'll go back and replace that zero with whatever grade with no late penalty. Now, this only applies to assignments. This does not apply to any of the forums or discussion forums. Discussion forums, you can't go back. Nope, no credit for those. If you missed them, you missed them. But if you, for example, maybe missed the database worksheet or maybe you missed the web sheet, website worksheet, Here's your opportunity to get some amnesty, some grace and mercy, and you can replace that zero grade and I will give you full credit, but you have to email me with the date you upload. And then here is when my window closes. It will close Sunday. So when module nine is done, I am not gonna go back and give you any back credit for late work. Uh, it has to be done and you have to have emailed me on top of that. So it's kind of a freebie. Now, if you don't have any zeros in the grade book, Yahoo for you, you don't have to worry about anything. You're, you're probably keeping up, you're, you're in good shape. If you do have a zero, here's your chance to get full credit for it. So um, I hope that helps you. That's my gift to you this week and a reward for watching my video all the way through. Hope you guys have a great week. Happy writing. And as always, be sure to reach out to me with any questions or concerns.